everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is ashmita and i hope you all are doing well and yes i just returned like 10 15 minutes back only to my home after watching kgf chapter 2 yes i went with my dad and sort of you know dragged him along with me because i really wanted to watch this film that my family is visiting now so i went with him for the afternoon show today and uh, before that because since he had not watched the part 1 i made him first watch part 1 so that i was like you have to you know watch part 2 but for that you need to watch the part 1 so the story was like fresh off in his mind and i also you know rewatched it again so i could revise the movie once again now just before i share my thoughts usually what i do is i pen down my thoughts and i script it properly but in weekend i won't be able to shoot any videos i won't be able to record so i thought like better to record my thoughts right now uh, after i finish the you know finished watching the film and i've come back home because yeah so this is going to be like the most raw and unfiltered sort of review video that you have seen uh but time constraint so i couldn't help it no before i give my thoughts on this movie i just want to give two disclaimers to the audience or to the viewers is that number one if you are not fan of the kgf chapter 1 movie then this review is not for you this uh movie is not for you the second part is definitely not for you and second if you are not a fan of the massy commercial mass masala films which gives you a bit of everything it gives you the action it gives you the emotion it gives you the drama it gives you the love story basically everything then if you don't like it if you're not a fan of it then also this movie is not for you and this review video is also not for you because i am going to go mostly mostly gaga over this film with my own reasonings so yes uh, let's first start i'll first uh, talk about the storyline then i'll talk about the technical aspects and at last i will talk about the performances now starting with the storyline i loved the fact that this was a direct and an immediate continuation from where chapter 1 ended that is what i absolutely loved about it and uh, you know what was suggested at the end of chapter 1 we we saw that you know there were certain questions which were you know left open and that okay there is a political angle which is going to be coming in now he is of course taking charge of kgf you know rocky is taking charge of kgf and there are other players who well are dumbfounded and they will of course conspire against rocky to take control of kgf and then we have adhira's anger so there are too many things that you know were set up for the second film and honestly for me at least as an audience whatever expectation like whatever tick marks like whatever boxes i had it almost checked out this movie the sequel almost checked out all of these boxes because i'm always with sequels now i am always a little scared because what happens is that when the first one becomes a massive hit then you of course get a bigger budget to make the sequel and that was suggested in the trailer also we could see how massive this movie looks it you know the the level of course scaled up so the excitement was also there but the expectation was also very very like you know sky high and i am really really happy that it checked out most of the boxes that i was expecting this movie has a bit of everything like how in the first chapter it was more of the action and more of rocky's rise this is his this is more like a sinusoidal wave because there is a huge political drama which is happening which was also suggested in the uh, you know end of the first movie so i was expecting the involvement of politicians and how his empire and you know the central government and of course cbi involvement how all of these things come into play and how rocky is basically going to handle all of it then i also really liked adhira's angle though i think probably maybe i feel that adhira as a character uh, couldn't get so much of a back story like we knew his back story i'm not saying we didn't know who adhira was and what happened to him and of course i was so looking forward to you know sanjay dat's you know as an antagonist because he absolutely killed his look and he really you know performed well but performances i will talk later like i said this is like the most unfiltered sort of video that i'm making because i've not scripted out anything so yes i did feel that maybe adhira as a character even though as an audience i know what is his back story but i feel that maybe you know some bits of you know glimpses could have been shown of between adhira and garuda i would have loved to watch that because as an audience i understand adhira's rage and yes you know he wants control of kgf 
but somewhere i felt a little bit disconnect to his character like i was not as invested in his character as i was you know with garuda's character honestly but still it didn't hamper my viewing experience in the overall context because i enjoyed him as an antagonist this was just my own personal wish that maybe maybe his character should have been fleshed out a little bit more also for me the viewing experience was so enjoyable because the theater first of all was packed i had a great theater audience with me today we were hooting shouting like in the sense in a good way not in a way where you know it's disturbing for the audience but it was all in a fun enjoyable way so i feel that that also makes a huge difference when you're watching such a film in a theater i don't think i experienced that even in rrr which is such a massive film but the the kind of energy that the theater had today you know while this movie was playing it was something different like you could feel the craze of this film i really like the balance that was created in the storyline specifically with the action the political drama and the mother son angle because i feel the mother and the son relationship is the soul of this movie for both part 1 and part 2 the biggest difference between the part 1 and the part 2 for this particular aspect the mother son relationship like in part 1 i knew that yes because of that particular reason because the promise that he made we see rocky's rise you know but here in part 2 the so i could really feel that yes the mother and the son relationship is truly truly the soul and there are so many instances in the movie where you know that what rocky is doing you know somewhere sometimes he goes a bit extreme he's all doing it for the mother but he goes you know a bit extreme but the portrayal of him as an anti hero is so well done that you would root for this guy my biggest expectation was that rocky should get a formidable you know opponent this i mentioned in my trailer reaction also and i'm very happy to see that yes sanjay dat was like you know a very very formidable opponent for rocky because the ending oh the climax fight sequence is so freaking well choreographed so well choreographed because i could see that i already know that rocky has his strength and he's like a superhuman ha huh, one man army but i was also like yeah yeah adhira is also intimidating loved his entire look so props to the stylist for giving sanjay dat such a badass look now the romantic angle initially i was like ah uh, okay is this going to be like a typical love story and all of that it's fine because there's this car chase sequence you know which one i'm talking about for those who have watched the film i was like ha huh, okay the bad guys are taking away the girl of course he's saving the day so yeah it's going to be like a typical romantic thing which is fine fine but the romance angle really gets redeemed at the end just before the final climax fight scene i was like yeah fine forgivable forgivable fine fine i am i'm happy i'm happy how all of these things came in together uh in the ending sequence now coming to the songs and the bgm i loved all the songs and you know falak tu garaj tu oh i think i forgot to mention i watched the hindi dub today i did not watch it in kannada i watched the hindi dub in fact kannada shows were very very limited here of course in delhi it's mostly the hindi shows so all the songs were enjoyable even i really like the romantic song also mehbooba mehbooba that's what it's called in hindi i don't know what's called in kannada but i enjoyed that song as well the bgm is also very 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 intense i think my little complaint would be that it was i don't know it was just in bits and pieces it was way too loud like it was really loud i don't know guys please let me know in the comments below if you experienced that thing or not because firstly we were like hooting and all and secondly the bgm was so freaking loud i don't know some at at certain points my ears went numb i, I i'm not joking so that was that was a little off putting a little off putting even though the bgm was good because of the volume was so high at certain you know instances my my head was aching so i don't know if you guys felt that or maybe it was in my theater only that the bgm was probably way too loud cinematography is oh my god the color grading the cinematography is great uh the vfx you know the blast shots and all they were they looked artificial to me so that's another negative point but uh, otherwise cinematography like the aerial shots the entire aerial view of kgf like the the gold fields the mines they were they were done beautifully i loved the color grading it's similar to the first chapter only it's similar to the first chapter only so they have kept that thing very very consistent so i really like that and the cinematography at the ending action sequence that is my favorite one that is definitely like a clear winner for me the fight between you know sanjay dat and 
Rocky, uh, sorry Sanjay Dutt and Yash, Adhira and Rocky. So <laughs> that was absolutely phenomenally shot, very very beautiful slow motion uh, angles, beautiful camera angles also and really good sound design in that entire sequence. So cinematography wise, I'm very happy, very happy. I think just the VFX was like, ah, uh, like my eyes could catch it. It did look a little bit artificial, especially like the blast scenes were, yeah, they were, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the budget is of this movie, but uh, could have could have spent a little bit more on that VFX part. Then performance wise, the, the major chunk of the main actors, they all did well. So happy to see Ravina Tandon in this amazing role. She was so fierce, had a great commanding screen presence. She really, really fit the role of the Prime Minister. So loved her, loved Sanjay Dutt, absolutely phenomenal. Just, I just, this is just my thing. Like I wish Adhira would have gotten up a little bit more backstory, couple of, you know, scenes between Adhira and Garuda would have really, really made this movie even more, like, not movie, I think it would have made Adhira for me, like, I could probably connect to Adhira more then. But nonetheless, Sanjay Dutt did his role very, very well. Then uh, Prakash Raj was also great. All the actors from the previous film, they, they, they just, they were phenomenal. I mean, they, all of them collectively make this movie so, so enjoyable. And then Yash, oh, his entry scene when he walks in with all of this other people sitting when he walks in and the title card shows the rocking star yeah. the cheering and the hooting oh my god you would get goosebumps i mean you would literally get goosebumps i loved yash in this movie that one scene which was there in the teaser long back where he's lighting up the cigarette in that big you know assault weapon so he's like oh so many amazing scenes of Yash and yes, I mean, it is glorifying Yash as this, this big, you know, one man army, but that's what the movie is about. I mean, Rocky Bhai is, you know, Rocky Bhai is Rocky Bhai. You can't deny Rocky Bhai's charm and Yash, it doesn't even feel forced on him. Like he has that charm. I to forgot he is Yash. He's like, this is Rocky Bhai. Sultan, Salam Rocky Bhai. Really, not kidding. I'm not even over exaggerating this one bit. This is what I felt. I am literally like, the scenes are still playing in my head and that entry scene of his is, and that, uh, you know, when he lights up that cigarette, those couple of scenes are in, oh man. Yeah, this is, I'm telling you now, the most uh, unfiltered sort of uh, review, I don't know, like, I'm sorry guys, if, you know, it sounds really haphazard, like my views are, thoughts are sounding pretty haphazard, I'm really sorry, but uh, what to do. <laughs> And uh, yes, so Yash was great. His now, of course, I don't know because I watched the Hindi dub, so I am I'm, I can talk about the dubbing. I cannot really talk about the actors' dialogue delivery, though. Of course, Ravina Tandon, Sanjay Dutt, it was Prakash Raj, it was their own voices, and uh, the dialogues in Hindi they were quite like, especially the humor, humorous part. You know, violence, violence, violence. The way those dialogues were said, uh, they were quite good. They were quite good. So I am not, I'm really happy with the Hindi dub. Uh, it, it created that said impact. It created that said impact. Though I always feel that if you're watching a movie in the, in the original language, the impact is different. I always feel that. So I think if I watch it in Kannada, it'll make a difference. Well, whenever it releases an Amazon Prime video, whenever it releases an Amazon Prime video, I would actually watch, rewatch this film in Kannada. I would want that. I personally would want to rewatch it in Kannada. So yes, uh, so I don't know if I've missed out on anything because, you know, because I've not, you know, penned down my thoughts, uh, but I'm just, you know, randomly babbling. But this is just what I'm feeling after, just after watching this film. Uh, so I think I've covered most of the ground. Uh, before I sign off from this review, the biggest credit, the biggest credit I want to give is to the captain of the ship who is the director of this film, Prashant Neel. He has to be applauded because he really took this movie, the second chapter to the next level. And I loved, I loved how this movie ended. For me, I think this was the most satisfactory end to, you know, Rocky's journey. I honestly feel that. Uh, I don't know. Please let me know what did you think of the ending of the film. Personally, I loved how this movie ended. Like, Rocky's fate basically how it started and how it ended it was brilliantly shown at least it was very satisfactory for me and I think it was I think it was justified in a way uh, and it was fair 
I feel the ending was fair. So Prashant Neel, I think, directed the movie so well, and specifically for the second part, like I said, he created that balance of all of the things where the action, the political drama, the mother-son relationship. Uh, in a way, the okay, I shouldn't give that spoiler. No, yeah. So these three uh, aspects, the family dynamics. Let me just say the family dynamics, the mother-son and other family member relationship. All of those were explored in a good way. Loved the balance that he created. Loved how he utilized all of his supporting actors. That was a very very big plus point. So yes, the biggest credit I would love to you know, I would not love to. I would definitely give it to Prashant Neel. And yes. Those were my thoughts, guys. Those were like my literally my immediate thoughts on this film, KGF Chapter Two. Share in your thoughts in the comments below. And with that, I will end this video here, and I will see you soon on my next one. Bye.